Alright folks, we are back at it with Twin Mirror, and we're looking for Dennis, our suspect of the uh, the fight we had last night at the bar, the bizarre. Um, don't really know where we're at. <sighs> we are somewhere where Dennis likes to be, sometimes. Um, that's all that has been said. So we're- oh, fuck. Dennis. Oh, shit. Dennis. Oh, what okay. Happened? <laughs> Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Did we? Damn, that like escalated very quickly. Wait, did we do that? Or <laughs> how do we know we killed him? Do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. What are we doing? Keep going. You got this. Okay. I don't want to murder, no. If I murder him, that's... Sam, no. Don't think about that. Don't... Oh, I wasn't. Guys, I was pressing. Are you supposed to press A or X? <laughs> Keep going. You got a, this. A, okay. Got this. Okay. There's like a... Oh. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. So how do we know we did it? Okay. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. We just want to have a breakdown, y'all. You can solve this. Solve it. Figure this out before Dennis dies again. The panic overwhelms you. The fuck? Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I we need to yeah. find that gun. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. Okay. Huh. Yeah. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to gun. find the gun. I need to find that gun. Okay. That one drawer, that was not, that was not correct. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Boy, I don't know. The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. How did I get the blood on me? A blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Me? The blood has been disturbed. By what?
The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. I have a complete picture now. So we kill him? Oh, wow. Really, us? I don't know. The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. Okay. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. All right. All right, going to be home very late tonight. Sorry, I need to make an asshole understand how the world really works. I won't be up to make breakfast, but there's some waffles in the freezer and should be some. Uh, uh let's read urgent mail. Emails between Nick and D. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. From Nick. Urgent. I didn't think I'd hear from you again. If you're willing to talk, I'd be very willing to listen. I can make the meet up tomorrow. Okay. Read Curiosity. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. Uh, hey, wait. Sorry to disappoint, but I've decided to drop the story. It turned out I got to a dead end after all. Better luck next time, I hope. Dear Nicholas, I hope you had a pleasant trip. You mentioned last week that you were in on the brink of a big story. Things on our side have been rather lackluster, I'm afraid. I was hoping maybe you... Would like to share with this old owl what you have up your sleeve? Okay. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. Okay. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. There's a lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. Okay. 
na semeni. Walter always treated us like family. Yeah, Walter's weird. I'm assuming this, this is the spare room, yeah. Alright, let's uh, do some peeking. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech-savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. Well, let's try. Does granddad rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Hope you're not working too hard again. Mom. Brynn never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. Excuse me. We have many different options. Let's try friend. That's not it. I have to keep looking. And I'm in. Oh. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Uh, X inbox. Almost an Xbox. Read help mail. Okay. Bess, I want to extend my greatest thanks again for your help. You are a scholar and a saint. It looks like I was worried unnecessarily regardless. Thank you for putting up putting my mind at ease, Walter Dotson. I'm April 4th. Here's the report on Nick's crash. You haven't asked for one of these in a while. Nothing all that interesting in here. Just another sad day by the roadside. West Virginia roads take more take more good sons than guns do. Huh? Open profile. Mostly standard so far. By the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. The car found against trees around debris, fire started. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. Mm. The car really burned. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him and his seat belt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. But I can't check Walter, okay.
I'm gonna assume Nick's office here. Oh no, that's that's the dead body. If I had the code, I could get in here. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Valid question. Still not sure. So on. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Did I fuck up? I'm gonna try again. Alright. Two. Three. Like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. Right. I should keep looking. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Put down. I don't need everyone staring at me. I guess I have to keep in Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen. Picture. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. I'm not really seeing anything. Someone should really clean up this board. Okay, yeah. Try this. Then. kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. <laughs> How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed. Very normal. Flattened out in last year or so. On the rebound, numbers look good. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? 
Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And oh. the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, <clears throat> Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. What should I do? Should I should I trust Anna? Cause she she did date our friend. Uh, I don't want the cops involved. I'm just gonna leave right away. I will be. I'm not. I don't know. They'll want to interrogate me, and we'll never find out who did this. What's wrong with you? How could you be so cold? We can't make him not dead. What we do now will decide if we can find out what really happened. Trust me. I'm not comfortable with this. But if you insist, we'll just leave him. We have to, girl. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. Well, girl, if you want to come... Fine, you can come. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Let's go to the crash site. We don't have a second to lose. Alright, so... <laughs> She's okay with <laughs> Excuse me. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't Here trust we her the first time. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be mm -hmm. good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither.
This is the place. get to the bottom of this first gather the clues cold hard plain facts that's the only way I'll know what really happened okay. two of the road signs were torn out did Nick's car do that the fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks. No trace of sudden braking. Okay. I don't know where exactly. How far? Okay. <laughs> Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. I guess I don't have all my clues yet. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Far down we can go, guys. Oh. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Okay. So he hit this and then came all the way down here. There's nothing else. Best to get the crash site. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Oh, I'm bad at searching for shit.
far apart. There's nothing else right here. Oh. Nothing on the road. I don't know how far up we can go. Oh, An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Hmm. Again, I don't know how high we can go up on this road. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Alright. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. don't add up. How about... Leaking fuel? No. I'm gonna say he was already unconscious because he was drunk. Leaking fuel here. Okay, but that's gonna hinder his... Oh. Fall down here, right? Where's the crash site? Yep, there it is. Fire damaged both the car and the tree heavily. Where was it? Why don't I get the yeah the wreckage? Like, uh, where's my options for? Yeah. 
I think that's pretty accurate, because he was drunk, I suppose. And... How could the signs have burned during the crash, then? One simulation oh. fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. Oh. Okay. Somebody's doing some shicey ass shit. thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Vic, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Interesting. About Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please. It'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. <laughs> Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things yeah. are different. She's different. You're different. True. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? What's our old pattern? Keep what? in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again.
I mean, this is a nice house. Last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't... It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you could push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. So before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. She's I... all I have left. Promise uh, me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for him. <laughs> I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I'm gonna try, I suppose. I don't want to make a promise. Of course I want Anna to be safe. <laughs> but she's her own person. I can't make decisions for her. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. Surely you understand. I do. That's why I would never lie to you. Damn if that ain't honest. Dad, I can take care of myself. Nothing's gonna happen to me, okay? See, I won't change your minds. Time for me to go home. Text me when you arrive, all right? Hey, don't feel bad about my dad. He still needs to learn to trust me. And thank you for not indulging him. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. Well, this is gonna weigh on Joe. Oh. I mean, you can't worry about everybody. I need to get in there eventually. But maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. I feel this extremely awkward. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. I like gazebos, but this one needs uh, repainted or stained. Anna and I spent our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. Not no more. Not no more. Just look around a little bit. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Oh. So how do we know where they broke in or what? Like, should I go up? I, I don't know. The dad left. Hello, quick. Oh. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. <clears throat> I 
There goes nothing. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her? Yeah, I could, but is it my job? Do I owe that to her? No, I don't. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? <clears throat> no. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Same. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. Yeah, but I can fix things. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. What if I can clean shit up? Not surprised Anna keeps this letter. I'd keep it too. Anna always was more interested in people than cold hard facts. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Stop acting like it. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Here's the worst thing. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Our responsibility.
you normally keep some drinks in the pantry? <laughs> it's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. And always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. No drinks in here. Can we open the fridge? She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. This is chocolate. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Do we have the... Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just, this is just so fucked. Nick, my house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his mer- You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Maybe I should grab the whiskey. I do like comfort Anna. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Anna always has trouble thinking when there's weird noises going on. To be fair, most people do. Like that. Whatever that is, it'd be smart to find it and shut it off. And finally, there. All right. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Whatever you. happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. 
But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Ow. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Okay. Don't be too harsh on her. There was no need to go for the throat, Anna. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Whoops. I, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know why I said it. It's just having you in the house. It's it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. Oh. But you... You understand why I said no, right? I know. The timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine investigation, me being hated by all of Basswood. That's... that's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I... I never liked the idea. Never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. Oh. That terrified me. And then... It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. I must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... With what happened with Dennis, the police are gonna start looking for me. I need to clear my name, and Nick's murder is the key to that. I thought you really cared about Nick. Or... Girl. But no. Sam Higgs still can't think of anyone but himself. Nick was my friend, but that doesn't mean I'm not scared about what happens to me. Girl. I... I know that. You sure? Shit. I just... <clears throat> I want to hurt whoever hurt him so badly. I have to find out who did this. And I'll need your help. I have it, right? Yes. I need to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Ooh. Take okay. your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Oh, I can't walk up the stairs by myself. Um... Look, up, look around upstairs, okay. <laughs> uh. I need to. Where is that guy at? I saw you still have some of my old things. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not like you left a forwarding address. Careful. Don't put her on the spot. 
No, I mean, it's nice. I thought you would have thrown them out by now. Sam, those things are memories. Tossing them out would be like erasing the past. I guess I'm just sentimental. Anyway, if you want any of it back, you know where it is. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, neither am I if I can't get up the steps. There we go. <laughs> Damn, they trashed this house completely. Why is it so dark in here? Why didn't why did she want us to come in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Uh, okay. As if a week wasn't <sighs> bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. I'm not gonna wipe it. I want... I want the police to have evidence, because, um... You know, I'm selfish and I'm still trying to it watch looks like my own Joan's back. using this room now. Oh, oh. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Celebrated sleep talk here. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. <coughs> Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course, when you fix it. Ew. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Um. As far as Bug was concerned, this was her real house. Wait, I imagine Joan spent some time here with her dad. Was she over a lot? Pretty much every time Nick had her. Yeah, I don't think she ever really warmed up to me. Don't let it bother you. She's still a kid. I know. I just 
spent a lot of time with her over the past few months. Nick and I getting together changed everything, and not just with Joan. Everyone started treating me differently, especially Kathy. I think people thought I should or would parent her, but Joan didn't want that, and neither did I. Well, I'm sure she appreciated you being there. I think she still does, especially now. I'm aware. I know how hard it is to lose a parent at her age. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm assuming they're wanting me to wipe that shit off of of the of the freaking mirror. Yep. Yeah. I don't really want to wipe it off, but whatever. Not the smartest decision, <laughs> but Anna deserves a break. I still have to look around upstairs, so there's shit that I still haven't crept into. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I can't check the closet or open the door. Ah, tapestry. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. It's one of those games where you have to interact with everything. Cover. Okay, there's nothing in the bathroom. A warning that I should have left. Okay. There must be something in here that I'm not paying attention to. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Yes, kids, that's what's still homework. <clears throat> Ow. My knee. Um, I still didn't. All the walls, the clock, the desk, the bed. Closet, I can't do anything. Can I do anything? Like nope. None of this. But, ah. I remember taking this photo. Seeing it like this, not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. So y'all want me to go back up in this goddamn bedroom and unlock it? Why is it locked? Oh, fuck. Oh. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't <sighs> get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. 
must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Yes, that backup files. We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer. Did he have anywhere besides here in the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't. I don't think so. I, I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. He said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. All right. I'm to get water. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Okay. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? All right, let's see what's going on. Joan rides this bike everywhere, which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. Here. What's she doing here? Is she here? Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... this is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. Uh, you ain't my kid. <laughs> you can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She kind of looks She's like Chucky a little this. bit. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. She can leave. I don't blame her. This Maybe shit. Try this, to bring up her mother again. The shitty place seems. Uh... Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just. Sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. This is our kid. I don't care. Look, <laughs> I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well... But... You're just gonna leave... again... another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. 
respect that. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. Anyway, it's not like I expected any different. This place is full of gutless, patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town? You don't have to. But leaving like this? Running away? That's not gonna help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth. For once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! Oh. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town. And so, I'm going. And you can't stop me. Okay. Sam, we have to do something. Mm -mm. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Sorry, I'll kid. call your mother. What? Don't. I'll call her right now. Don't. You can't just run away. Fine. I'll go home. Don't call her. It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever. You're just like everyone else. Ooh, harsh. But fair. Sorry, Bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Looks like he changed quite a bit. Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Okay. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get it. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. No, 
Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with them. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, yep. Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Goddamn. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home, and always locked up. These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. This for Kathy. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Bro, I ain't reading all that. Did we take the pain pillar? Yeah, we did. Serious calendar that was taken off the wall. He wants to see. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right. I think I went through everything here.
wait. What? what? Up, down, right? Okay. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left it. Okay, so. Okay. There. Let's see what we have here. Lot of cash, more than Nick could make in a decade. Already looked at everything. An article by Anna about a place called the Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Okay. Richard. Early 30s, twitchy even when sober, high strong, and obviously disliked by the cove. Asked not to be named in Anna's article because of his father who runs a shipping company. Farley looks or as dumb as he acts. Still hard to say both. So using yes, who was a dealer? Tyler, Lynette, J.R. Kayla, Dickie. Richard is Dickie, it's a nickname. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who his supplier is. So, what it? Mm, Richard. Okay. Richard is Dicky, it's a nickname. Okay. Tyler Gilliam, mid 20s, sees himself as the Cove's protector, very defensive of Lynette. Tyler's interview with Anna was heartbreaking. He was bad off, so bad, in fact, that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the Cove. He certainly wouldn't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive, been in and out of jail for most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonize. Clean since the interview. Where? Where did he get his drugs? Dicky. Okay, so Dicky is the first guy. Um. Okay, JR. Interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it into the article. Late 30s, non Percival, ex miner. Jerry has been living on the road, working wherever he can as a handyman, and when he came to the Basswood Miner after the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove. Now that he's out, didn't have anywhere else to go. Keeps himself trying to get clean, but it's an ongoing process from the Midwest to Michigan. Pick up smoke and trying to replace other habits habits which less bad ones with less bad ones. Hasn't worked. JR Justin Reynolds collects hubcaps, has a Winchester in his truck. Okay. Would it be this guy? Would it, would it be him? Hey what? Okay. Let me read this guy. Okay. Mm. I'm 
much is that? Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dicky may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, the Cove, or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Oh, Lord. I'm about to roll out. Excuse me. My bad. Best took my statement about the break in. She didn't mention you. It won't be long before someone finds Dennis. Then they'll be looking for me. We need to stay focused on tracking down Dickie. He was Nick's informant, and he's our only lead. I owe it to Joan to find the truth. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What the are you two a doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Yes, that makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it. She lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options. That's enough! What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Them Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglar. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I, sorry, I didn't, I just, I didn't mean it that way. Don't, don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. Right. Girl. Right. Relax. Sam, you sure 
sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. This is a cute little area. Little podunk area. Who the hell are you? Anna. What are you doing here? Tyler. You look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. All right, everybody. This has been a long part, so I'm gonna cut it right here, and I will see you on the next one.